Thank you for purchasing Trolley Stopper and welcome to the installation guide. Trolley Stopper is a simple device that nearly anyone can install and by following these instructions your install should be easy and go to plan. Please note that Trolley Stopper is designed to work in nearly any car park, however there are some car parks that fall well outside the standard gradients. Please do not install Trolley Stopper if your gradient on your car park is greater than 7 degrees. The Trolley Stopper kit includes the following items. The Trolley Stopper devices, epoxy glue, a glue gun, a scouring brush for surface preparation, gloves and safety glasses. There are however a few other items that you will need and will help the job go smoother. A tape measure, a chalk line or laser level, work lights, a broom or a leaf blower, a spatula for clean up, a builder's pencil or chalk and a cordless drill. Before we get into installing trolley stopper, first a word on safety. Car parks can be dangerous places, especially with traffic moving around them. We recommend that you install trolley stopper at night or at the very least when the shopping centre is closed. We also recommend that you use safety cones to close off the area you are working. Always wear safety gloves and safety glasses as the epoxy resin can be extremely irritating to your skin and very damaging to your eyes. We also recommend that you read the epoxy material safety data sheet attached to this web page. As epoxy can be quite harmful you should be aware of the risk before using it. Step 1 measure and mark lines. Take your tape measure and measure from the front of the car park to the back of the car park, usually around the white line or where you would like to sit the trolley stopper. Move to the end of the row and measure the exact same distance as you did at the top. This will give you a straight line to install trolley stopper on. Now take your chalk line and flick a line from top to bottom or use a laser line if you have one. Now measure to the centre of the car park and mark with chalk. Then use the included wire brush to clean the area and blow away the excess dust from the area. That completes step 1, measure and mark lines. Now we can move on with step 2, prepare glue and install the trolley stoppers. The epoxy, once mixed, has quite a short working life, around 5 minutes. Therefore it is important to have about 20 to 25 trolley stoppers set up and ready to go for install. We recommend having a bench or something similar set up in a central location before you open the glue. To open the epoxy, unscrew the lid and remove the tabs. Hold on to these tabs as if you have glue left you can save the glue for later. Insert the tubes into the gun and push the pin forward. You also need to do what's called priming. Priming is where it pushes out the first part of the epoxy so when the mix occurs it is a proper one-to-one -one mix. Next place the mixing tube onto the epoxy and you're ready to go. Fill all the fins around the trolley stopper with the epoxy. Also, put a small walnut size dob of epoxy in the middle of the trolley stopper. This will help overall adhesion. It is also important to note that the epoxy should be a grey colour. If it is too dark or a black, then you may have an issue with the mix and it may not stick properly. Now you are ready to stick the trolley stoppers down. Just remember you have 5 minutes working time before the epoxy starts to, to fix trolley stopper in place, simply locate the centre of your lines and place some small pressure on the trolley stopper onto the surface. You may have some glue squirt out, but you can clean that up a little bit later. Continue to install trolley stopper until the job is finished or the epoxy has run out. It is better to work in teams of two if possible, as one person can glue the trolley stoppers and the other person can install them. 
you may find once you've installed all your trolley stoppers you still have some epoxy left. You may want to save this for later or another job. Simply remove the epoxy tube from the gun, remove the mixing tube and put the tabs back in place. Now that you've finished installing your trolley stoppers, it's time to clean up the area. You'll more than likely have at least a few trolley stoppers with a bit of excess glue that are squirted out. It is best to wait about 20 minutes for the glue to cure before attempting to remove it. To remove excess epoxy, simply take your spatula and cut around the edge of the curing epoxy. Then you should be able to easily scrape away the excess glue. Try not to allow anything from interfering with trolley stopper while the glue sets. This should take about two hours. After this, trolley stopper can be used. That's it, you're all set. Once again, thank you for purchasing trolley stopper. If you have any questions, please use the website to contact us and we'll get back to you with some answers. Thank you.